Hello there, and welcome back to a channel called Best Dressed, in which I'm neither really the best dressed, nor do I upload fashion videos particularly often. It's been six months since I uploaded an outfit video because fashion doesn't seem like it has a purpose anymore. ba do ba do ba do Boo. Jazz hands. Over the past three months, I've gotten pretty comfortable completely forgetting that I have a physical form, but now New York is reopening, and that means it is time for me to spend thousands of dollars and way too much effort putting together cute outfits so that some cool girl on the L train may one day look me up and down and say, hey, I like your style. <sighs> one day. Oh, that's a nice dress you have on there, Ashley. Where'd you get it? Realization par for Love and Lemons? Did you spend several hundred dollars on it? Nay. Would you believe this is a dress that I got four years ago at Forever 21? Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. I have been meaning to alter this dress for like three years, and it was always one of those things that I saw in my closet. I was like, oh, that could be cute but I don't have, you know, two minutes to alter this dress, so I'll just put it off for another three to four years. But finally, last week, as I was procrastinating, editing a much more important video project, I do this thing when, when I procrastinate, I just procrastinate with smaller, less significant, and less urgent tasks. So I ended up altering all of the clothes in my wardrobe that were waiting to be altered naturally. So now I am massively behind on my video, but at least this dress fits pretty fucking well. Now for a long time, I have proudly resisted the bucket hat trend. I honestly thought it looked fucking dumb, but it's one of those things, which you will know if you ever worked in retail, where if you look at any article of clothing for long enough, you think that it looks cute. That happened to me all the time at American Eagle. Dresses would like come into the store and be like, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And then three months later, after I held it in my hands every single day and saw people try it on, I ended up buying it. Also kind of the same effect in high school when you started thinking that guys at your high school were cute, not because they actually were, but because you had to look at their faces every single day. Same thing with the bucket hat. I have seen so many girls on Instagram wear it that like, I think it looks really cute. Come on. Oh, oh, I look like I'm ready to go gardening. Recently, I bought these gingham shoes, which yes, match the gingham on my dress perfectly. Look at the little detail over here. Look at this, look at this little V cut around the toe, the block heel, the print. Beautiful, although they don't taste very good. This is from a French company called Rouge. To be honest, I don't really like their clothing designs that much, but their shoe designs, chef's kiss. I would 100% recommend them. They're so comfortable too. Here is the complete outfit. Oh no stepped on my plant a little bit. This plant is getting so fucking long, it cannot be contained. It's like dragging on the floor, so my entire floor will just be plant. I like to call this outfit my, yes, I've based my entire wardrobe's color scheme, my hairdo, and kind of my personality off of the movie 500 Days of Summer, but please don't project Manic Pixie Dream Girl Syndrome onto me, because I'm not manic, I'm just depressed. <sighs> this skirt is so good. Sorry, I just like breathed heavily as if I was sexually attracted to this skirt. Um, this skirt is great. This is one of those skirts that haunted me on Instagram ads for like a year now. Every time I go on my explore page, I see a fucking video of this skirt. And at first I was like, nah, this skirt is dumb overpriced. I don't want this skirt. It's just a plain white skirt. But our robot overlord Zuck said otherwise. A year later I caved and I finally bought this skirt and fuck it, I do really like it. The fabric is just like insanely good. It just like moves like Fucking butter. It makes me feel like a ballerina. And with these moves, I basically am. Like pretty much everybody in quarantine, I've been spending a lot of time on TikTok to the point where I used to spend like three hours down the TikTok hole. So I had to put a 40 minute child lock timer on my own TikTok account so I would stop spending so much time. Anyways, I thought I was long over the chunky shoe trend, but then TikTok said, no, you aren't, bitch. You seen so many cute girls wearing chonky ass shoes and now you're gonna spend a hundred dollars on them too. And I did. I think the moral of this story is that I actually have no control over my real style and it's just an amalgamation of various things that internet algorithms feed to me. So that's comforting. <laughs> but tell me this isn't cute. This is like my aspirational cool girl outfit. I feel like this outfit says, hey, 
Let's just grab a couple drinks after work. I know a cool spot on 7th and 1st. Because I am cool, casual, easygoing. I don't overthink my social interactions for many hours and days beforehand and afterwards. This is what I would wear if I was just like shotgunning Trulies on the beach. Um, this is also coincidentally what I wear when I'm shotgunning Trulies alone in my apartment. <laughs> For real though, I have been wearing this a lot around my apartment while I'm working. It makes me feel like I'm like oil painting or like sculpting in my studio, when in reality I'm just responding to emails. <laughs> I thought this corset was really freaking gorgeous. It has all of this detailing around it and now I'm just touching my nipple. And I also thought it was cute with the bucket hat. I'm really into the bucket hat thing, guys. I can't go back. You know I'm getting old when I'm eating Special K by choice instead of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is the dress I'm gonna wear when I go full Disney princess, move to the woods, start talking to birds, enter a polyandrous relationship with seven dwarves. This dress honestly has it all. It's got puff sleeves, it's got little ribbon details, it's got ruching so my boobs look a little bit bigger, it's got a twirly skirt, and best of all, ladies. Fuck, I missed them. It has pockets, but if I pair it with some cowboy boots that I thrifted recently, I feel like this is the only way you can pose in cowboy boots, it's just a little, oh wait. How to ma'am? Would you like to square dance? Yeehaw! I don't know about you guys, but I had to do square dancing when I was in elementary school, and everybody flipped out in my class choosing their square dance partner because you had to choose a member of the opposite sex. The teacher was like, oh, you don't have to worry about it, you're not gonna marry him. But for the rest of the year, whoever you chose as your square dance partner, all of the other kids would make fun of you that you liked them and that you were kissing in a tree and shit. Shout out Shazabe, who I think was my square dancing partner one time. We are legally married now. I don't make the rules. I wish I knew how to Irish dance, just so I could do a little. Sometimes I do feel like the puff sleeves on this dress are a little bit much. So to cover it up, I do a little tan jacket, something like this, matches the boots, and there we go. Something a little bit prairie chic, a little bit more casual, a little bit warmer for summer nights, a little something different for the Teen Vogue party. Here's another option for how to style this dress. I just dressed it down with a bunch of kind of edgy, quote unquote, black accessories. I really like this little bucket hat with a string. I think it looks very cute with like fancy dresses because of the juxtaposition. And for shoes, I have these little 90s inspired platforms. I know these shoes look intimidating, but they are some of the most comfortable shoes that I own. They're from this Australian company called Rock that makes a bunch of chunky platform shoes out of like the softest leather. I also think this outfit would look very cute with a mask on. I feel like I've been opting for a lot of black accessories lately because I have this black mask and I think it looks kind of badass altogether, if I may say so myself. And also nothing is more badass than not killing people by coughing on them. Am I right, ladies? This is, again, what I call my I watch way too much TikTok look. Is it weird that I'm 22 and still getting outfit inspo from high schoolers? Maybe a little bit, but goddamn, they dress so cool. <laughs> I did actually learn another TikTok dance. It took me like two hours and I still am awful at it. Um, it's the one that goes, uh, call it, call it, Captain Hook. Hey, I go shopping. Cop it, then I bought it. Hey, bitches bopping. That one, you know? <laughs> this is just a formal notification that I'm still, oh no, sorry plan. <laughs> that I'm still on my bell bottoms bullshit and I will not stop until they are in mainstream style. Look at me, I look like a sexy watermelon. <laughs> this top is actually just like a tiny little $10 bandana that I tied around my top, which is one of the few instances in which I'm very glad that I have absolutely tiny tits and also inverted nipples so you can't even see my nipples through this. Inverted nipple squad, rise. I just paired it with some little denim sailor shorts. They kind of remind me of the short swimsuits that girls would wear in like 50s movies. Look ready to like date a sailor or something, get uh, highly discriminated against, not be allowed to have a career. 
This is what I like to call my white girl blogger outfit, because I look like I studied communications at a southern university, was in Delta Delta Delta, and kind of would have bullied me in high school. This is the type of person that I used to call basic before I realized that calling somebody basic is kind of just playing into the patriarchy's belief that all things that are popular amongst women are inherently bad and don't involve actually having taste, when in reality some things that women like are just cool and okay to like if they're also popular, because people also pull them off really well and look good doing them. That's this outfit! But for real, I do feel like even if you're wearing the most basic, quote-unquote basic, outfit, there is like an art behind finding pieces that fit you perfectly. So for example, these jeans are from a Goldie, and originally they're a bit of a mid-rise fit, but I wanted this leg shape, but with a higher waist. So I ended up buying a size up, I hiked them up, and then took in two darts in the back so they'd be high-waisted. And now, I think they kind of fit perfectly. And this top is technically a bra. It has little clasps in the back, but I figured it was long line enough that with the jeans, like, it only leaves an inch of skin. I feel like it's not that scandalous. And then for accessories, I just have this little over-the-shoulder bag. It's kind of a rip-off of the vintage Prada ones that cool kids wear. And then I got some simple heels. This is an outfit I've been wearing a lot when I'm just out running errands. It is hot. It is like 98% humidity here in New York. I feel like I'm swimming when I walk through the air and I want as little fabric on me as possible. Do I kind of look like a cowboy stripper? <laughs> yes, but do I mind? Not really. <laughs> I've gotten really into layering short sleeve shirts underneath ta my brain. Just <laughs> fucking exited the situation there. I am literally four hours into filming this video and my brain is like shutting down. What I meant to say is that I've been liking layering t-shirts with little spaghetti strap dresses. I think this one looks really cute with some loafers. This is essentially the same idea, just in a different color scheme. These shoes are literally so extra, but I feel ready to fight crime in the 70s. I feel ready to fucking stomp on the patriarchy. I think my foot sweated so much that it got stuck to the inside of this boot. Come on. Jesus Christ, I thought I was gonna be trapped in there forever.